All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron Model 5770. So first thing we're going to do is remove all the screws from the bottom using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. If you want to just remove the CD drive, there's just this one screw that you need to remove. But other than that, let's go ahead and remove all the screws. All right, so you want to keep track of the screws, keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that is I put them with the flat side down like this. In the pattern I remove them so you see four here and then you see like four going like that and then four here I just put them in that pattern and that's how I keep track of it all right <clears throat> hopefully my video helps you if it does please like subscribe and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to fix their devices all right and if this video helps you save a bunch of money please consider throwing a little my way every little bit helps even a dollar is greatly appreciated all right, and we'll continue taking out the screws. So there's one screw missing there actually. So we're going to ignore that and then just keep track. This screw is actually a smaller screw, all right? Sometimes I don't know if somebody worked on their computer, stuff might be moved around. <clears throat> so just keep track of yours and how it looks and hopefully that should work. Okay, it looks like this screw actually stays in place there. Okay, maybe all these screws stay in place on the bottom near the hinge, depending which way you work on it, if you have the hinge facing towards you or away from you. But as you can see, those screws all stay in place. It looks like this one will come out. Okay, so we got that. All right, to remove the CD drive, I use my fingernail in this, and then I just run it up and down as I'm pulling on it. And as you can see, the CD drive comes out. If you can't do it that way, you can use like a small needle or um, bent paper clip here. And then there's a little hole and you can use that to pop the CD tray out. Um, and then once you pop the CD drive out, it'll open like as if you were to push the button and then you can use that to kind of pull on it easier. But I like to do it this way and it works well. All right, so we'll set that aside. Um, looks like there's one screw under here. So you want to remove that as well. Um, actually, it looks like there was supposed to be two screws, but one's missing. So it looks like whoever worked on it before one, lost one of the screws, or I don't know, maybe they didn't put one at the factory. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up now. Okay, so the way I open these computers, all right, is so you can see there's this little gap here between the cover and the palm rest. So what I do is I get my fingernails in that gap, and then I use my thumbs to push here while I pull back with my front fingernails. Okay, just like this. Just like that, okay. Let's slowly close this once you get the front up, okay. And then we're gonna spin this around just like this, okay. And then we're gonna kind of try and wiggle this and get this part of the cover off. There we go, and there we go. We got the bottom cover off. It's a little dusty, so we're gonna clean this up. Um, I'm gonna clean the, the, the fan as well. So I'll take this outside and clean it up, and then yeah, let's go ahead and do the um, battery first. So the battery replacement comes like this. It doesn't have the connector here. We have to transfer that over. Um, battery model number here you can see is WDX0R or WDXOR. I think it's a, supposed to be a zero. So there we go. Let's go ahead and remove these screws. So I don't know if there was a screw there or if that's part of the bottom cover. Let's see here. So, hmm. So normally there would be a screw here, but I guess it doesn't have one. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and remove these. You'd have to remove four screws, okay? Looks like there's also a slot for an SSD. I don't know if it supports uh, PCIe, NVMe, or SATA. It doesn't have a label there. So the only way you would know is by testing it out or maybe if you can Google this specific model number and look for SSDs for it, you'll find the right one. But they're using a two and a half inch SATA hard drive here. So we're going to be putting a one terabyte um, 2.5 inch SATA SSD. I didn't know I had this slot. Um, we could have put an SSD in there. Um, but again, since we knew it had a spinning hard drive, we're gonna put the SSD there. Um, <clears throat> unless the customer decides they want that. Um, the other thing is you can get the CD drive. They have a um, adapter or a hard drive caddy that lets you put a hard drive there. So you technically could have three hard drives and no CD drive in this computer. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and continue removing the battery. So you would remove the four screws for the battery. 
All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery here. So to remove the battery, what I do is I grab the wings with my fingernail. And actually, let me zoom in so you can see better. Okay, like this. And then I kind of just wiggle the connector as I pull it and it comes out just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this out. Here you can see the battery's like this. All right, it's kind of dusty. Then we're gonna take this connector out from the battery. Just grab that and kind of do the same thing. Just kind of wiggle it. Um, it's holding really tight, so I don't know. Hopefully I can get that connector out. Let's see here. Wow, that's really tight in there. Okay, oh, I guess just wiggling it. Okay, I did have to just wiggle it, but a little bit, pull a little harder. All right, so there we go. Going to get the replacement battery. Looks like this, okay. Gonna pop that connector back in. Okay, make sure to get both sides in kind of helps to walk the connector in, not just push it straight on. And so you can see it's a little bit flexible there, so you want to be careful not to damage the battery by putting too much force. Okay, here you can see, let's zoom out. Oops, too far. Okay, so here you can see this connector going underneath for the BIOS or CMOS battery here, as well as this one USB port. Um, this can be actually pushed down and flipped out, but we're going to leave that there. You got the keyboard connector here, you got the keyboard backlight connector, the trackpad connector, hard drive connector, you got this little connector, which I think, I don't know which is which, there's two here. Um, I think it's going to the fingerprint sensor and the power button, so. Okay, this one says FP underneath this piece, so that's for the fingerprint, and then this is for the power button, it looks like. All right, so there we go, let's see. So actually this is the black wire going there. And then this one, the white wire goes underneath and goes to that. Okay, then you got the CPU soldered to the motherboard so you can't change it. All right, then you got the RAM here. Pull these two tabs to the side, pops out like that. It's an eight gig PC4 2400T. You can put any size RAM as long as it's PC4 2400T. Um, and then, yeah, I think the largest they have is 16 gigs, so you can get two 16 gig sticks if you want. Um, though, 8 gigs is already plenty for most people. If you get another 8 gig stick to match, then you'll have 16 gigs. All right, you got the wireless card here, the one screw, then this plastic um, thing comes off, and then you can pop the tails of the antennas up. If you want to see how to remove these things, if I didn't show how to remove certain things, just watch a few of my other videos. Most computers have these almost the same and then you can see how to remove it there you got this connector here which I think it's going into the screen for the um, camera and stuff you got the LCD LVDS connector here if you mess with this connector make sure that you um, open the computer and press and hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds after you've removed the battery okay and I think that's about it you got the speaker connectors here there's two speakers and it connects right there. All right, that, you just grab the wings, wiggle it, and pull it back. Okay, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. The speakers aren't held in with screws. The hard drive, it's held in with four screws. We are going to be upgrading this to an SSD. So I'm gonna take the hard drive out, oops, and then I'm going to clone it, and then I will replace the hard drive. So I'll take the hard drive right now, and then I'll clone it, and then I'll be back once I've done that to show you the reinstallation and how to close everything up. I'll also be back after I've also cleaned the fan out, of course. So when I come back, you'll see the computer's cleaner and then also we'll have the SSD ready to install. Okay, so we'll remove the four screws holding the SSD, or, or sorry, the hard drive in place. Um, to remove this connector, I'll show you here. So let's go ahead and lift this up. Okay, just like this. All right, and then I get my fingernail in here and I just pop this. As you can see, this black cover piece is kind of coming out. So sometimes it's risky to try and just pull this connector out. So what I do after I kind of pull it a little bit, you can see there's a gap forming in this connector. I'll get my fingernail in there. You can use a plastic pry tool if you want. But as you can see, I can use that to kind of wiggle that and pull this connector out that way, okay? And if you want to be extra safe, you can disconnect it from here first just by flipping this tab up and then pulling that out. But I'm going to leave that in there. All right, so here you go. We're going to transfer over this metal bracket to the SSD once we finish the cloning process. But for now, I'm just going to take it out and I'm going to leave it here. All right, 
So there's four screws holding this in place. Okay, just like this. This is actually a two terabyte hard drive, so I should probably ask them since it has this SSD slot. Maybe they might want to use the other SSD. The only problem with that is I'd have to order it and they wanted it done um, by tonight, so I wouldn't have time to get that other SSD in time. So for now, we're just going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to clone this over to this one terabyte SSD here, and then we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Cleaned out the fans. All right, let's go ahead and get this cover back off. Oops. There you go, cleaned that up, cleaned out the fan. All right, so now we're going to install the hard drive or the SSD in now. Okay, so this is just like the one I was working on, the other one, the smaller one. So this is a 17 inch model. The other one I was working on is a 15 inch model. Same thing, put the SSD in here. There's a one terabyte SSD. Okay, and then we're gonna get the four screws back into the hard drive. All right, oops, I'm mixing these up, that one stays there. Let's see, oh, I put the four screws in my pocket. I was like, where'd they go? Okay, and get the four screws back out. Sorry, I'm wasting your guys' time with this nonsense. Okay, I forgot when I went to clean it, I had to put the screws in my pocket so I wouldn't accidentally blow them away. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these screws in. Jeez, that's a lot of pop-ups for Windows. All right. Just like the other model, this plastic thing has little holes for holding these screws. So if you decide to use the M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, then you can actually store the screws in these little holes here. It's hard to see now that I have the SSD in there. Um, if you watch the video I posted, the other video I posted of the 15-inch model, um, I show it a little bit clearer in the video. The model is very similar, so... Alright, so now we're going to put the hard drive in, just get this connected. And it's good to hold the connector and then push the drive forward. Be careful not to crease this cable too much because you could break it. Alright, it's pretty fragile. There we go. Go ahead and put the hard drive screws back in. All right. Let's get these four screws in. All right, and then let's get the replacement battery in place. So we swapped over that cable. I'm gonna put the replacement battery in it all lined up get the connector lined up okay slide that in pinch the two pieces together there we go now we have to be a little bit careful sorry about that I don't know why that went off um, but anyways let's go ahead and put the screws I thought I muted my phone so it shouldn't have played that that was my ringtone Bonus points for anyone that knows where that song's from. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get these screws in. Again, one screw is missing here. It doesn't really do anything for the battery because the battery's just holding with this little cable. All right. If you do put the M.2 PCIe MVME SSD, you have to take this screw out first. This holds the SSD down in place. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and put the cover back on. I miss where this screw come from. They take a screw out of here randomly that I don't know about. Oh no, that's the CD drive screw. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this all back together. Okay, let's go ahead and screw these down. Get this all latched back in place. All right, I'm gonna put this screw down here first. Since we're missing one, then we're going to use that to hold it. Okay, actually, they're about equal distance from another screw, so that's fine. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and put this CD drive back in. Just like this. Okay. And put this small screw here to hold the hinge part down to the cover. Get the other screw to hold the CD drive in. Okay, let's go ahead and get all these case screw cover um, case cover screws in. Just like that. There we go. Okay, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and get these in. And then we'll get the bottom four screws down here. I'll see if I have a spare screw that matches this one. Just so the middle can hold a little bit better. I might have one. This might be too long. Yeah. It works, but it doesn't match in color. But oh, we'll just use that. Okay. Go ahead and get the rest of these screws in. There we go. That's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can also work on their computers. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you again, um, if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider throwing a little my way. And that's pretty much it. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Let's drop this.